Hi, my name is Brian Kane, and I am a small business solution advisor with Microsoft Connections. Today, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of some of the voice recognition features found within Windows Vista. To begin, go to the control panel, which can be accessed from the start menu. Then, select speech recognition options. Once in, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your microphone is working properly. Click Set Up Microphone. Indicate what type of microphone you're using, and then read some tips to make sure that you're using the microphone as effectively as possible. Doing so will ensure that the voice recognition works as best as possible. And finally, Test the volume of the microphone. Read some or all of the statement provided. Peter dictates to his computer. He prefers it to typing and particularly prefers it to pen and paper. Great. We can see our microphone is working, so now let's launch the application itself. Click Start Speech Recognition. You can see the program opens in the top of the screen. This can be moved or minimized as well. To begin using it, simply say, Start listening. Close window. Open Word 2007. Open Excel. Open Excel 2007. Open Internet Explorer. Two. OK. Restore. Maximize. Minimize. Show desktop. Switch to Word. I am typing this message using the voice recognition found within Windows Vista, period, new paragraph. When I speak to the computer, comma, the computer attempts to decide whether I am giving it a command or a dictation. comma like I am doing right now period correct eight four okay insert cover page alphabet Select Type the Document Title, Voice Recognition, and Windows Vista. Four. OK. Capitalize Recognition. Switch to Internet Explorer. To disable the voice activated features, all you have to do is say, stop listening. To reactivate, say, start listening. Switch to Internet Explorer. New tab. Two. OK. Home. Switch to Word. Office button. Print. One. OK.
cancel. Close word. No. Show desktop. Start menu. Zoom. Zoom. Two. OK. Claire de Lune. Play. Start menu. Documents. Maximize. Maximize. Pictures. DC. Double click. Mouse grid. One. Six. Eight. Double click. Close. Email. Attach. Jacob. Enter. Send. Now, I want to show you how powerful it is to use voice recognition alongside regular mouse clicks. I'm going to manually open up this picture. And now open up the snipping tool using a voice command. Open snipping tool. With the snipping tool, I can choose a portion of anything I see on my screen copy it to the program, save, copy, or email it. Show desktop. In addition to purchasing a high quality microphone and using your microphone properly, there's a few other things you should do to make sure you're using this system as effectively as possible. Let me show them to you. Show speech options. Start speech tutorial. The following tutorial walks you through the entire process of properly setting up this program as well as taking advantage of all the voice features that are available. Finally, let's take a look at one more tool that will help you use this program better. Show speech options. Configuration. Improve voice recognition. Next. This tool trains the computer to recognize your vocal patterns and provide more relevant results based on the search commands you give it. I am now speaking to my computer. The computer is learning the sound of my voice as I speak. This will help the computer better recognize what I say. This wizard takes approximately 5 to 10 minutes and will improve your experience with the program dramatically. I hope you've enjoyed today's webcast. For other great webcasts, audiocasts, resources, and information about live events in your area, please visit Microsoft.com slash connections. Switch to Internet Explorer.